All right, hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jocelyn. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. And if you're not new, thank you guys uh, for coming back. Today's video is going to be um, testing out some new Black Radiance products. Um, if you're familiar with Black, Black Radiance, they are a brand that is, um, I think like sister companies with White Wild, if I'm not mistaken, but is curated for uh, women of color. Um, is geared towards us and our skin tones um, so yes I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the video I don't want to make this intro too long so I've already done my eyeshadow eyebrows all that stuff like that my eyebrows are trash do not worry about them do not clock my eyebrows okay because I haven't got them done in a minute anyway and then the details on this eye look if you're interested will be down below in the uh, description box so I've already went ahead and moisturized my face if you've been on my channel for a minute you know that I absolutely love the Pond's dry skin cream um, this just does my face so good. It has it so smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and go um, in so and yeah. prime. This is also one of my Holy Grail products, which just happens to be the Black Radiance True Complexion Shower Control Primer. Like, I don't know if you can see, like, the, the tube is, is done, sis. Like, it's almost done. I need to go get another one, okay? Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and prime with this as well. And I'm also going to use an, another primer that I've been using recently. This has been my all the rave here on YouTube, but it is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And it looks like this is supposed to be like a dupe for the um, Tatcha Silk Canvas. I'm cheap, I'm broke, so I'm not really, I don't know if it's a dupe or not, but um, this works good enough for me, okay? Like this, by the way, I'm just going to take a decent size amount and go ahead and put that all over. Um, the only thing I will say, this is kind of like a mini review, but the only thing I will say about this primer is that it does cause me to get a little bit more, uh, luminous than I usually would, um, because it is like a, like a hydrating, almost like balm, so it does produce a little bit more, um, shine than say a, a liquid that dries down to, um, like a, you know, like a powder finish or a matte finish. So now that we've gone ahead and primed our face, we are ready for foundation. Before I do that, I kind of want to just get into the products that I did pick up from Black Radiance. These are all new products, um, and I found mine in Walgreens. The price and all that stuff like that will be listed um, on the screen somewhere. I don't know where it's going to be, but it's going to be listed on the screen for you guys. So Black Radiance did come out with um, a foundation stick. This is called their Color per Perfect Foundation Stick. And the packaging looks like this. As you can see, I haven't opened yet. I got mine in the shade Cashmere, which I'm feeling like is kind of going to be too um, dark. But I don't know. We'll see. They also came out with, if you, um, on my channel, probably about a year ago or so, I did a, um, like a review on the Black Radiance Loose Setting Powder. Um, this one here. And it was in the shade Banana, which is like a yellowish powder. You can see that. Um, but they've come out now with more loose setting powder, but now they come out with more loose setting powders in different shades or whatever. So I went ahead and got the Black Radiance True Complexion Loose Setting Powder, but this one is in the shade Honeymoon. Um, and it just looks like this is the same container, but it's, as you can tell, it's more of a skin tone type powder. Um, and in the inside, this is what it looks like. This is the shade here. Okay. You can see that. Um, so yeah, it's more um, warmer and it's also like a skin tone powder versus like the banana, the banana versus like the banana powder, which is more of a like um, highlighting setting powder. Okay. Then the last product is the um, True Complexion Contour Palette. Now y'all know this is like my holy grail. This is mine right here. This is the medium to dark palette. As you can tell, it is well loved. It is well used. Yes, sis gets gets her money's worth out of this palette, okay? Um, but they also came out with a darker one. So that was the medium to deep, which I've been using. And they came out with a dark to deep palette, okay? And this one looks like this. But now we're ready to go ahead and apply our foundation. So this is the Color Perfect Foundation Stick, like I said, by Black Radiance. I got mine in the shade 6823 Cashmere. And it looks like this. This is the shade here. I'll go ahead and give it a little swatch. 
It is very rich in color, if you can see that. So I'm feeling like low-key this is going to be a little bit too dark, but we're going to see. And don't mind my ashy hands, y'all. Like, I've been washing my hands and stuff like that, and I've been doing makeup. So, yes. So that is the shade here. Now, what I found pretty interesting about this product is that it also comes with a brush on the other side. It kind of reminds me of the um, brush that was on the Kim Kardashian contour, contour sticks that nobody was here for um but i'm gonna go ahead and give it a whirl but i don't foresee myself using that side just i'm gonna go ahead and apply this to one side of my face to see what it's looking like okay that is the shade cashmere okay So then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try to blend it out with this little brush on the end, but I don't think it's gonna go very well. Okay, this brush is just taking way too long, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my foundation brush. And it out really really good like that was wow i'm gonna put some here go ahead and do the rest of my face now it, i don't personally feel like it's gliding i mean that it's like dragging on my face as you can see i'm like moving the product around i'm moving it around and it's moving pretty fine um it's going into the skin really well and this shade is actually not, not bad. Now this foundation stick compared to my black opal stick is a little bit more stiff in my opinion, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. You just, sometimes you might have to uh, wet your brush a little bit. Coverage wise, I don't have much to cover, so I can't really be the judge of that. But it do, it is giving my skin a flawless, it is giving my skin like an even base. Um, it is moving. Ooh. My stash is on fleek. This is my skin. Color wise. It did, I did, I did pretty good. I didn't think it was gonna match, but this came through. This impressions, um, this foundation is looking pretty good. The coverage, I would say it's pretty decent. Um, and this is just with one layer. I don't like to really build up my foundations like that just because I don't have too much to uh, cover. But the foundation looks pretty good. It looks very skin-like, like, like um, it's not overly shiny. I mean, it might look like that because the light is on me, but it's not overly shiny um, and it's not overly matte. Like, it's kind of like a natural finish, I would say. Um, and yeah, so far, so good. I'm gonna go ahead and do my under eye highlight and then I'll come back um, to test out the new contour palette. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I think my mic was disconnected for the last clip, but if it is, I'll do a voiceover. But anywho, so I'm going to go ahead and um, I've already highlighted my face, set it, and everything like that. So now I'm going to go on with the new Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in Dark to Deep. And I just think that this is such an amazing palette for the price. You can't beat it. And the fact that um, they went even deeper for my darker beauties out there, I just find that that is so amazing because... Um, it's really hard to find like a contour palette that is of for darker skin tones that is not an arm and a leg. So I salute Black Radiance for, um, you know, including us and keeping us um, in mind with their products. That's really good. Okay, so this is the palette. I'm going to hold up both just so you can kind of get a comparison of the old palette so this is on the this side is the um 
medium to dark palette, which looks like this. And on this side, can you see? Maybe I show them back. So this is the new palette. This is the um, dark to deep, and this is the medium to dark palette. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try out the dark to deep. Um, and yeah. So I'm gonna go in with the contour shade with an angled brush that I always use. And we're gonna see how this performs. Ooh, that is a, that is dark. Ooh, let me tap some off. Wow. So I may have just ruined my makeup, but you know, it's okay. We're testing products, so I'm not going anywhere. Um, okay, so it's definitely pigmented, so be, be light with this product because that is pigmented. Um, I'm gonna try to finesse. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other side, but it is pigmented, so I'm gonna dab some off. Okay, so right off the bat, sis is pigmented, okay? Sis is, is pigmented, okay? She ain't come black radius and kind of play no games for 2019, okay? Whoa! Mm, okay. okay, so normally, okay, let me do a little bit on the forehead, tap some off, but I'm not trying to look clownish out here, okay? And what I will say is that this shade and the contour shade in the dark to deep is a little bit more um, cool tone or like grayish neutral, if you will, versus the medium to dark, which is more um, like bronzy reddish. So that is the contour. It is very deep. Um, I can get away with the medium to deep I can get it made with this palette if I go light-handedly. Um, but I'll still have to play around with it a little bit. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna use the Sculpt shade because I feel like it might be a better alternative than to go straight in with that other powder. And I'm going to just bronze the sides of my nose. I don't really contour my nose. Um, you know, I just throw some powder on the side of it and call it a day, okay? Because to be honest, I don't really know how to contour my nose. I feel like my nose shape is a little bit weird, so I just drag some powder and voila, that's that, okay? And then I'll, this is what it's looking like so far. So as you can tell, the, um, the contour shade is definitely pigmented, so be light-handed if you are my complexion. Um, definitely be careful with it, but for anybody darker than me, it's definitely going to snatch that face, okay? So now I'm, we're almost done with this face. I'm gonna go ahead and go back into the Black Radiance kit, and I'm going to use that highlighter shade. I'm just going to take this brush and go ahead and just, I apologize if we go hit my stomach, y'all, I'm hungry. Okay. Do are we are we seeing are we seeing this? Are we seeing this? Oh, okay. Come through black radiance. Throw some here on the tip of my nose. Just because. I'm gonna throw some up here at the top. I'm gonna throw a little bit here. Ooh, okay, take some of that off. But I really do love the contour kit. I think it's um, 
so well worth the money like you don't have to spend an arm and a leg to get um a contour you know what i'm saying i think that it's brilliant that they get the they give you a contour basically a bronzing shade and a highlight and a palette for under i want to say it's for under eight bucks like you cannot beat that that's three powders for under eight dollars um so i definitely think that it is well worth the money all right y'all so this video was just a struggle to get up in general um i ended up losing the ending clip where i talked about my thoughts on the product so i'll just do it real quick basically the foundation um it held up pretty well i did get um an enormous amount of oil and i didn't even go anywhere like i wasn't even doing anything i was just at home chilling and my face produced a lot more oil than usual so and keep in mind i'm normal to um combination skin and i was a little bit over oily so take it as you will um in terms of the finish and stuff like that i did like to finish as i mentioned as I mentioned in the video however I feel like my face did get a little bit of, of a reaction because I did have a little bit of bumps and itchiness towards my face that were not there when I um, started filming versus when I took my makeup off so I definitely think it broke me out a little bit I'll have to test it out again to see for sure but I'm pretty sure that it broke me out so also keep that in mind but what doesn't work for me may work for you um, in terms of the contour powder you already know that that's like a holy grail of mine I've said it before it's amazing um and i think that darker skinned women will definitely appreciate the new addition to the contour pillar, uh, palette line in terms of the loose setting powder i definitely like it i really do like it um it's not as dark and it's not as pigmented like once you blend it out on the skin it kind of just melts into the skin um so if you are my skin complexion you can get away with honeymoon like you couldn't even tell that I had put the powder on my face other than it did set the foundation. So I'm overall happy with all the products from Black Radiance. As I mentioned, um, everything that I talked about today in the video will be down below in the description box. I will see you guys in my next video. And yeah, and also I could have did my contour a little bit better because the contour was a little bit trash. Um, it was looking a little bit messy, but don't, don't, don't judge me for that. But anyway, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. I hope you guys be blessed and I will see you in my next video.